All right, here we go. Number one, dinosaur slime. You'd think cracking open a dinosaur bone would reveal nothing but solid rock, but instead scientists found something stretchy, like fridge jelly. When they sliced open a 6-8 million year old T-Rex bone, they discovered blood vessels, soft tissue, even red cells that looked like they had just come out of a medical lab rather than a museum. This completely shattered the basic definition. Fossils are supposed to be dry and brittle, not elastic like rubber bands. The most reasonable explanation is that iron in the blood basically turned the dinosaur into a self-preserving jar, nature's version of mummification, from the inside out. At first, scientists fought over it, many claiming it had to be a mistake, but the more they checked, the more it held up. The discovery forced decades of fossil research to be re-examined and opened up a whole new debate. If soft tissue can survive, could DNA also remain? And if so, maybe one day, Jurassic Park won't be fiction anymore, but a documentary. And those bones in museums might not just be display pieces, but the lunch that decides it wants to eat you first. Number 2. The universe is 95% invisible. Everything you see in the night sky, stars, planets, galaxies, actually makes up only 5% of the universe. The other 95% is completely invisible, and scientists had no choice but to label it with names that sound both cool and desperate, dark matter and dark energy. Without dark matter, galaxies would spin like blenders without lids and fling themselves apart. Dark energy, on the other hand, works like cosmic Red Bull, constantly fueling the universe to expand faster and faster. Imagine a balloon covered in galaxy stickers. The more you blow it up, the farther apart the stickers drift. Except in this case, no one's blowing, the balloon just inflates on its own. The most frustrating part is that science has no idea where this self-charging battery gets its power. It's like waking up to find your iPhone fully charged even though you never plugged it in, and no one can explain why. What makes it even funnier is that this discovery came by accident, which basically means generations of scientists missed almost the entire universe sitting right in front of them. In other words, Humanity is trying to write the physics textbook, but so far, we've only skimmed the blurb on the back cover, while the rest is pitch black like the night sky. Number 3. The Ghost Planet Vulcan In the 19th century, astronomers noticed Mercury's orbit was acting weird, drifting away from physics predictions. Instead of thinking, maybe we don't fully understand gravity, they decided. There must be a hidden planet pulling it. And thus, the Ghost Planet Vulcan was born on paper. Hunters all over the world went searching, and one French astronomer even swore he saw Vulcan crossing the Sunday. He got awarded a prestigious medal, though he had probably just stared at a sunspot. For 50 years, reports piled up claiming, I saw it too, turning into a half-century game of I spy with no proof. Then Einstein showed up with general relativity and dropped the mic. There was no planet. Space around the sun was simply warped like a giant mattress, nudging Mercury off course. The whole Vulcan chase turned out to be like looking for your phone while it's literally in your hand. It's the perfect reminder that sometimes science doesn't fail at the data, but at forcing the data to match an imaginary hypothesis. Number 4. The Vacuum Energy Disaster In science, being off by a little usually means you're off by a lot, but once, physicists were so wrong they practically wandered into another universe. When they tried to calculate the energy inside vacuum, the empty space between stars, the result was horrifying. 120 orders of magnitude larger than reality. To picture that, it's like weighing your friend and writing down that he's as heavy as millions of trillions of galaxies, when in fact, he weighs about as much as a hamster. The problem is that physics' two greatest theories, quantum mechanics and relativity, explode like a Reddit argument when combined. One side insists the vacuum is a secret rave party, with virtual particles popping in and out non-stop, while the other insists space must bend and warp. Add them together and the universe should have blown itself to pieces at birth, yet somehow it's still crawling along like a sloth taking a nap. This became known as the vacuum catastrophe. Still, the single biggest miscalculation in science history, basically the academic equivalent of turning in a test and scoring so far below zero that not even pity points could save your dignity. Number 5. Pluto gets kicked out of the planet club. Every generation grew up memorizing Mercury, Venus, Earth all the way down to Pluto. But in 2005, a chunk of ice and rock called Eris showed up, about the same size, maybe even bigger than Pluto. That discovery forced astronomers to face a harsh truth. There could be hundreds of Pluto-sized objects wandering out there. If every one of them got called a planet, kids would have to memorize a phone book long list 
and textbooks would look like 1,992nd yellow pages. So in 2006, scientists held an emergency meeting and rewrote the rules. To be a planet, you have to be round, orbit the sun, and most importantly, be powerful enough to clear all the junk in your orbital path. Pluto failed the final test and got demoted to dwarf planet. Teachers worldwide had to erase Pluto from their classroom posters, while students cheered at having one less name to cram. Meanwhile, Pluto just kept drifting in the cold, indifferent to the drama, like a breakup where only one side can't move on. Number 6. Black Holes Leak Once upon a time, people thought black holes were the universe's ultimate prisons drop something in, and not even light could escape. Then Stephen Hawking dropped the bombshell. Black holes actually leak. At their edges, pairs of virtual particles constantly pop into existence. One falls in, the other escapes, creating what's now called Hawking radiation. It sounds tiny, but over time it makes black holes slowly evaporate. The real headache comes next. If stuff falls in, and then vanishes, where does the information go? Quantum mechanics insists information can't be destroyed. Burn a book, and the words may turn into ash and smoke, but the data still exists in some form. Yet with black holes, it looks like everything gets erased. That's the infamous information paradox, which has tortured physicists for decades. It's basically like sending a package to Amazon's warehouse, getting the delivered notification, and then finding out their entire system has no memory the package ever existed. If black holes really do wipe out all information, it means either gravity is wrong, or quantum mechanics is wrong, or worst of all, both are wrong. Number 7. The Speed of Light Limit In everyday life, it feels obvious. Build a stronger engine. Your car goes faster. Build a bigger rocket. It flies faster. But the universe has a hard speed cap, light speed, about 300,000 km per second, that nothing can cross. Einstein proved that the closer you get to light speed, the heavier you become. It's like pushing a Walmart shopping cart. The faster you shove it, the more bricks it mysteriously piles into itself. By the time you're near light speed, that cart weighs as much as Earth, and if you somehow hit light speed, your mass would blow up to infinity. Translation Humanity's dream of zipping across galaxies dies at the chalkboard. Even maxing out your speed, it would still take 100,000 years just to cross the Milky Way and that's only our neighborhood in the cosmos. Light, meanwhile, cruises freely because it carries no baggage, no mass to hold it back. This might be the simplest explanation for why aliens haven't shown up yet. They're stuck in the great cosmic traffic jam, watching their GPS say ETA, 40,000 years, number 8 zombie water polywater. Back in the 1,962nd, Soviet scientists claimed they discovered a brand new form of water, basically the dark mode version of H2O. They called it polywater. Thicker, heavier, impossible to freeze, and with a boiling point so high you could cook noodles in seconds. The scary part? Just one drop of polywater could supposedly infect normal water and turn it all into polywater, like a zombie apocalypse but in liquid form. The media went wild and labs around the world scrambled to study it, thinking they were about to unlock either a new era of science or the end of the world. But after all the hype, the truth dripped out. Polywater was nothing more than regular water contaminated with sweat and soap from dirty lab equipment. The entire scientific community had basically been duped by bad dishwashing. The story still stands as proof that even geniuses can get fooled by a dirty sink, and as comfort for anyone who's ever botched a project with a silly mistake. At least you never convinced the whole world that you'd invented haunted zombie water straight out of a horror movie. That's all for today. Comment the one that fooled you the longest, and subscribe if you want more Brain Bugs Explained.